I was asking the Lord this morning in worship. Father, what are you saying to these people? You know, I don't come with premeditated uh, sermons or messages. I want to know what God's saying in this moment, not yesterday. And he started sharing with me about Elijah. And then our dear brother Sadhu started sharing about what we're going to do at Mount Carmel. So it was a confirmation of what the Lord had been speaking to me. And so at that moment, I had a tremendous expectation. Let me share a word with you the Lord gave me in Shanghai this year. How, how many of you are from Shanghai? Ah, all my friends, hello. Shanghai is beautiful. Are you too much dinner? No more dinner tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, we have two rules. You can say amen or oh no. But you can't be quiet. If you're quiet, he and I will go and have a coffee and talk. This is what the Lord said in Shanghai. There is a realm of the spirit called the realm of expectation. And this is the place the birthing takes place for the supernatural. It is a place of possibility where all things become possible in and through those who believe. The Lord said it is reasonable to dwell in that realm. And we should do so continually. Because it's the fertile ground where much fruit will spring forth. It is the place of the suddenlies of God upon your life. The Lord said it's time for us to cultivate that realm. You know that in God nothing happens by accident. Nothing. Therefore, we should live with expectation every moment of every day. You won't be disappointed if you begin to develop this. Our Lord is more willing to be interactive in your life than you ever thought possible. But he's looking for a people that want him. He's looking for a people that miss his presence when they don't sense him there. You know, my wife and I, Reshma, we travel together for years all the time. It's hard when she's not here. She's my heart. She is my shoots. German. She's my treasure. And so, first thing in the morning, I text her, good morning. And we talk. Last thing at night, I text her and we talk. 
晚上我们也会继续交谈。And throughout the day, she sends me little texts. How you doing? Keep going. 一整天她会送这个短信说，你怎么样了？继续下去吧。That's my earthly heart. 这是我地上的这个心意。But Jesus has my eternal heart. 但是耶稣有我永恒的心意。I think about him all day long. 我整天都会想到他。He's always sending me little texts. He's always there to communicate. You know, when I knew I was coming and Reshma was staying home, I said, hey Jesus, you want to go on a road trip? He said, yeah, I'd love to. I said, love to. He said, I love to. How many of you invited Jesus? I've taught you this before. You invite Jesus into everything you do. And you know what happens? Some things you will stop doing. But he'll open up more realms of adventure than you've ever known. And so I live with expectation all the time. Since I got here in Israel, I've been seeing him with my eyes wide open. You know, when we got on the airplane from Amsterdam to here, nobody had booked the seat next to me, so Jesus sat down. And I said, you know, Lord, this is your old stomping grounds. Would you, would you show me around? He said, oh, I'd love to. He said, I can show you things nobody's even seen. Why am I saying this? In the book of Colossians, it states in the manner in which you receive Christ Jesus so you shall walk in him. Chapter two. So if I receive Jesus as my best friend, if I receive Jesus as my healer, if I receive Jesus as my peace, if I receive Jesus as my comforter, if I receive Jesus as the lover of my soul. In whatever manner you receive him, you're going to walk in that. I receive Jesus as the God of the possible. Therefore, nothing is impossible. And I believe that with all my heart. That's Colossians 2.6. If you have received him, so walk in him. Whatever way you receive him, that's the measure you're going to walk in this revelatory realm. As we were sitting here tonight, the Lord said, Turn to the book of Nehemiah. Chapter 2, verse 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. Three is a good number to me. I write about it in my books out there. Second Peter 3.8 says, A day with the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years is a day. Peter so, from the time of Jesus till the turn of the century, we've completed two days. Or 2,000 years. Now we're early in the morning on the third day. On the third day, Nehemiah and the company that was with him went out at night. When darkness covered the earth. When darkness covered the earth. 
This is a picture of the end of the age. This is 末日的一个。It's a metaphor for this generation. 是这一代的一个比喻。Pay attention. 留意了。Scripture says you are the house of God, the temple of God. 圣经说你是神的殿。Corporately, we are the city of God. 整体来说，我们是神的一个城。And it's in ruins. 它已经毁坏了。It's fragmented. 被破坏了。It's being tested and tormented and and turning to the left and to the right because they're not on a firm foundation. 被考验，向左向右了，因为没有一个坚固的根基。It's been destroyed by the armies of darkness. 被黑暗的军队毁坏了。And there is a remnant that is remaining. 有一个渔民会留下来。This ministry. 这个服饰。Pastor Sweet's ministry. 史牧师的服饰。Jose and Stella's ministry. 何西亚的牧师的服饰。My ministry. 我的服饰。We're called to build the house of God. That's you. 是建立神的家，就是你。To bring you back to the place of your former glory. 是把你重新回到先前的荣耀。So that the glory of this latter house will far surpass that of the former. 你这这家的荣耀。超越先前的荣耀。The Lord is in the process right now. 主现在正在工作。Of restoring to this generation. 要修复这个时代。Ancient paths. 这个要修平我们的道路。Ancient truths. 以前的这些真理。Hidden mysteries that have been hidden in Scripture. 圣经里面的奥秘。Because the church has been fragmented. 因为教会已经分裂。But in this hour. God is bringing forth the church triumphant. And we're called to rebuild what the enemy has destroyed. So God invests in us His revelation. He gives us insight and understanding of the times and the seasons. He gives us insight and understanding of the times and the seasons. He shows us these hidden mysteries so that we can build you. Into the house of God. He let us see these secrets, so we can build this house. Fully functioning in what He's called you to be. Can complete His invitation to you. The word of the Lord right now in verse 18 is, "Let us rise up and build." The word of the Lord in verse 18 is, Let us rise up and build. Let us rise up and build. It's time to take the broken pieces of our lives and give them to God. Let us rise up and build. 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 Let us rise up It's time to give our businesses to God. We put our business in God's hands. Because God is doing a new thing. Because God is doing a new thing. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. He's rebuilding the ancient walls and the ancient paths. Time outside of mind, eternal and perpetual. Is 超越我们所想象的 It's the realm of the spirit. 是在灵界的里面 That has been ours for generations, but we have been kept from it. 经过这么多的时代，神保守它 Because individually we've been fragmented, and corporately we have been fragmented. 我们集体来说是已经啊被分散的 But there is the voice of one crying in the wilderness. At the end of the age, in the spirit of Elijah, is Elijah's spirit perpetual? Prepare, 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 We are Mount Zion, the city of God. Zion is God's temple, and God is restoring us. God is restoring us. So that we can lift up the hands that hang down. 
And we can rejoice once again in God our King. Walking in these ancient mysteries. Or as we say today, the powers of the age to come. They belong to this generation. Our forerunner company of prophetic believers. That are moving forward into the fullness of who God is. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This is the hour we live in. There is something about this year that's different than any other year. I have watched from the beginning of the year as there's been an increase. An increase of the light and the life of God within us. An increase in the passion and the hunger for God that's around us. Revivals are springing up all over the world right now. Spontaneously, God is beginning to visit. Spontaneously, the Spirit of God is hearing the cry of a passionate heart. All over the earth. All over the earth. Is He going to hear our cry in here? Are you hungry and desperate for God? Is he going to hear our cry in here? We'll have to work on that. Amen. Amen. Life is not always as we think it will be. However, as you think it will be, our thought life is responsible for our present condition in the now of our existence. Proverbs 23 7 says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. This is crucial in this moment of time. This truth is crucial to the end time generation. For a number of years, I've asked the Lord, Why is there more unbelief in the church than in the world? We have the words of life. Why is there so much unbelief in the church? They have more faith in circumstance and the devil than they do in God and His Word. He said, because they acknowledge me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. It's time to change what's in our heart. It's time to change what's in our heart. As we think it will be. As we think. Some years ago, I was asking the Lord about these very scriptures. And I was up teaching one night. Just a gathering like this. And all of a sudden, all of time just stopped. And like a scroll, I saw all of time and space begin to roll up. And I watched it roll all the way up past the creation, right into God's mouth where He said, Let there be light. And so all of creation just went right into His mouth. It dropped into His heart. Then it went up into his 
imagination. And I saw the process of God creating in his imagination what he wanted to release. 我看到神在他的思念当中创造他所要释放的。And as he meditated on that, it dropped into his heart. 当他在默想的时候，这个思念就进到他的心中。And out of the abundance of his heart, he spoke. 他心中的丰盛说出来。And the word came forth.那个话说出来。And all of space and all of time unrolled very quickly up to the moment I was standing in. 那个时间空间就在。my people don't understand the same power resides in them. They create their own reality. By what they meditate on, by what drops into their heart, and then what comes forth out of their mouth. You are where you are at tonight because of what you speak and what you think. In a, in a good place or a difficult place. You can't blame the devil. You can't blame God. You can't blame your spouse or your children. God gave you that creative ability. If you're going to walk in the realm of the Spirit in this hour, you have to change the focus of what you think about. What you meditate upon. What you allow in, because it will drop into your heart, and out of that abundance you'll speak and release. It's crucial for an end time prophetic people to understand this right now. We have to move past lip service to a genuine heart of understanding. There's a cause and effect to everything that happens. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. I want to focus on one word. Issues. In the Hebrew, the word issue means boundaries or border. In other words, the boundaries in your life are what you have established yourself for yourself. You've created your own boundaries. Hello? We each one of us has created our own boundaries. But God wants to pull up the tent peg and expand it. That's what you're here for too. This week, God is going to pull up those tent pegs. Oh, it might be a challenge. Some of it's in dirt so hard it's like cement. Because you've held on so tightly to things that you shouldn't have held on to tightly. The Spirit of God wants to uproot, to pull down, and to destroy the distractions in your life. And then, he wants to build you up into something new and unique. A new man. A new creation. A man and a woman of the Spirit. Clothed in garments of light and glory. Walking in these ancient paths. And doing things that you've never done before. For the glory of God. Matthew 12.36 says, Every idle word that men shall speak, they're going to give an account thereof in the day of judgment. 
人所说的每一句闲话，在末日都要交代。I'm going to mix physics and, and scripture for a moment. The physics of scripture. I have a dear friend, Dr. David Vancouvering. He's a quantum physicist. You, you know the electronic keyboards? He invented that. Your touch screens, he invented that. He's, he's got over 600 patents in physics. One day we were talking at lunch. He said, I've, this is about 10 years ago. He said, I've come up with a process that they don't have the technology yet to Initiate. I said, What's that? He said, Well, it started in the book of Joshua. He said, When Joshua entered into a covenant with a foreign nation, he picked up a stone and he said, Let this stone be a witness between you and me. 那么这个约书亚他和这些外邦的民族立约的时候，他拿起一块石头，他说让这块石头作为你和我之间的约的一个见证。And he started thinking as only a scientist could. 他是从这个科学的角度来开始。And he realized that matter has memory. 他说这个东西是有记忆的。Remember the old hard drives in the computers, a piece of metal. 啊，这个电脑里面的这个呃。and it would record everything you wrote and all the videos and it had memory. He said in all of creation, everything has memory. This, this pulpit has memory. Since the moment it was put together, everything that's been said and done is recorded at a subatomic level in this pulpit. Ten years ago, with the technology he had, he was able to get the white noise. Do you know what white noise is? It's, a, it's like a television picture that's not clear. It's like the old TVs when they just wouldn't tune in. He said just recently, the technology now exists to extract the clear audio and the clear video. Now think about that. Everything I've ever said and done since I've had this is recorded. I said, that's, that's awesome. I said, but the Lord told me some years ago something very similar. I said, but I've never shared it with anybody, but now you've given me permission through what you shared. If you do your electronic, whatever you do, and extract that, I, I believe that's possible. But the Lord told me as a believer, I can do the same thing with a touch. Matter has memory. It's a frequency. He sat there for one whole minute thinking about that. He said, you know, I believe that's true. Let me give you an example. I use the example from my book. I took a young man one time, his first missionary trip after he got saved to Fiji. He'd been saved just over a year. And I asked the pastor, do you think he's ready for this? 
我问那个牧师说，他预备好这样做了吗？He said, "Yeah, I think this would be good for him." 他说，啊，行了，啊啊，对这件事呢，对他来说是好的。So I took him to Fiji. 我就把他带到飞机去。Staying in the missionary's home, and I had the guest bedroom. 那么在这个宣教士的家，我们有一个睡房。And the only other place to sleep was in the living room on the couch. 那么唯一能够睡的地方是在这个客厅的一个沙发上面。So there was extra bedding that was folded on the foot of my bed that he would take out at night and make his bed. 那么在我的床底下呢，有一个多余的床，他可以拿出来晚上就成为他的睡床。About four four days into this trip. 那么这个宣教四天之后呢？We're supposed to go out to another meeting that night. 那个晚上我们应该到。he said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. I don't know if I can keep going." He said, "Oh, I'm tired. He liked grease in his hair. Here's this disgusting greasy pillow. And I was just a little bit irritated. So I took the pillowcase off and threw it in the laundry. Grabbed a clean pillowcase. Still grumbling a little bit. Phrases, of course. <laughs> and I laid down and went to sleep. I had the worst night I've ever had. Matter had memory. Because what went on in that man's mind was perverse. And I battled that all night. In his defense, he's a young man. He's just been saved a year. There is a process. When I got out in the morning, blurry-eyed and exhausted. I said, good morning. I said, how did you sleep? Oh, I slept so good. Wow, he said it was amazing. I had dreams of heaven and visions of angels. Wow, I dreamed of heaven and visions of angels. I said, "Give me my pillow back." I said, "Give me my pillow back." I said, "Give me my pillow back." Matter has memory. Things have memory. You know, when you go into these hotel rooms, when you go into these hotel rooms, you apply the blood of Jesus. That erases it. Apply the blood of Jesus. Especially over your pillows. And you will sleep better. I'm telling you. <laughs> Matter has memory. So what does that mean? We're going to Mount Carmel. If you change the boundaries in your heart and belief system right now, you will have an extraordinary experience. Because your eyes will be open. And your ears will be attuned. And when the prayer of activation is released, some of you might even vanish. Let me share this. I've had such tremendous expectation for this year. Now we're halfway through. And it's increased, as I said. Some of you have heard me teach this this year. Beginning of the year, the Lord told me this is the year of Isaiah 60. 在今年开始的时候，主对我说，今年是以赛亚六十章。Arise and shine. 兴起发光。For your light has come. 因为你的光已经来到。
Do you know what? Do you know what that means? This is what it means. Arise, come to full stature, become a witness. And when you attain full stature, when you become a witness, you begin to shine. Then the glory of the Lord. 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 See, when we come to age, of age, our light has come. Ah, when we come to this age, our light has come. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When we're at full stature, our light now comes. When But this is the hour. That's the of the coming forth of mature sons and daughters of God. It's been increasing. This has got me excited for a very specific reason. This is what I'm very excited. Three years ago, three years ago, on Rosh Hashanah, when I was visited by the Lord, in this Tzitzit Day, the Lord came to visit me. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. He handed me a key made out of light. And I said, "What do I do with that?" I said, "What do I use it for?" He just said, "Hold on to it." He said, "You just hold on to it." By the way, that's what he was releasing to the church three years ago. Actually, this is three years ago. The Lord was releasing to the church three years ago. Two years ago, two years ago, Russia. No, in, in uh, yeah, two years ago in Sydney, Australia. In Australia, Sydney. I had a visitation. You have a visitation to one of my biblical heroes. My these uh, his name is Elijah. His name is Elijah. I was standing. I was praying at the conference. I was praying in my room, saying, "Lord, what are we doing here?" And I was taken in the spirit. In the room, I was taken in the spirit. And I'm standing in a cave that looked about this size, actually. And there was an opening about the size of those two pillars. And the sun was almost set. And I knew it was the end of the age just before total darkness came upon the earth. When all of a sudden, standing next to me was Elijah. 突然间，在我旁边站着以利亚。And I said, "Sir, why have you come?" 我说，先生，你为什么来呢 ？He said, "The Lord sent me." 他说是主派我来的。He wants me to teach you how a man can go from the natural realm to eternity without tasting death. 他要我教导你怎么样从现在进到永恒。Well, he's done it. He did it. I guess he would know. I think he would know. I said, "Okay." I said, "Okay." He said, "Now pay attention." He said, "You pay attention." He put out his arm, and it became light. He put his hand out, and it became light. He said, "Now practice." He said, "Practice." So I began to practice. I began to practice. Eventually, I was able to do it. Eventually, I was able to do it. He, he smiled, said, "Good." He smiled and said, "Good." Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood in front of me. Then he walked and stood He said, "Hold out your hand." He said, "Not not your hand." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the flesh hand. Hold out your hand and make it as light." He said, "Not the fles
He said, you're the same frequency of light, you are the key. You are the key. Arise. Shine. For your light has come. This is the year of the release. This is the year of the release. Jesus is standing in the front here. He's asking for permission to interrupt. Is that okay if he interrupts? Yes. Okay, he said, tell you this. Last year on Rosh Hashanah, which is when he shows me what he's releasing to the church. I had a visitation with Enoch. Enoch was carrying a big, large book. And I said, Enoch, what is that? He said, this is the book of mysteries I began to write when I began to walk with God. When he began to translocate all over the known, all of creation. And he handed it to me. He said, this generation will finish it. Then he took off his mantle. And he gave it to me. Mantle. Mantle is anointing, his mantle. Uh, That's for all of us, not this person. Our Lord Jesus Christ is standing right here. Just as I saw him on Rosh Hashanah as the King of Glory. He wants every one of you to have that same experience. I want to start with Brother Sadhu in this row here. You just stand up. Jesus is going to place that book in your hands and the mantle upon you. Okay. There he is. Put your hands out and receive. Yes, my Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. He's also breathing on you. He's releasing the Ruach, the Spirit of God. That's an acceleration of this process now. It's a release. It's a release. Thank you, Father. Now the front row on the right. This row. All the front row, stand up. He's just going to walk along and do this. Worship team, you too. You, you don't miss. Remember, expand your boundaries. Have expectation. There is a supernatural impartation right now. That if you're willing in the power of His power, His visitation right now, you're going to receive this. Now there is a great cloud of witnesses watching on. They're looking, they're looking in here. They have anticipated this moment in this day. Everybody stand up. Jesus is walking among you and releasing this to everyone. Audio, cameramen, everybody in this room, Jesus is releasing this. Expectancy. Expectancy, expectancy, it cultivated expectancy, expectancy. Yes, Lord, release it on them, Holy Ghost. Enoch himself is watching. They knew that a generation would come that would finish this work. This is that generation. Now there's a release. Elijah just walked in too. Elijah, you're in touch with Elijah. 
I'm going to repeat what I hear him saying. Jesus is still moving among you. Jesus and him, thank you. Chuba Rabba Sandara Rabba Kuru Rabba Shandara Rabba Shu Ribishite Harabba Suru Shinde Rabba Sutu. This is what Elijah is saying. Just as you saw that. Scripture says that before the return of Messiah, Messiah, there would be a company of believers that would have my mantle and my spirit. This night I released that into this house. This night I release this revelation into this house. As he places it upon you, as he releases this revelation in your spirit, you have the seed of what God's about to spring forth. He will teach you how to go from this realm to eternity without tasting death. If you ask, if you expect, if you expand the boundaries, help us, Father. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Even now, my King. There's some deliverance taking place right now. There's chains that Jesus is breaking off. Yes, Lord. Just receive. You don't have to feel to receive. You receive and then you will feel. You will notice the change in your life. Receive. Change has come. Acceleration has come. The day of his visitation upon your life has come. Now arise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And multitudes will come to the brightness of the shining of that glory. Yes, my Jesus. Yes, Lord. Kalalabasundo Raboshuto. Oh yeah. I am seeing right now. There are hundreds of chariots of fire. They've been assigned to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you would activate this in every life here. Activate this, Father. I thank you for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shura now let me ask you something. Do you really want this? I'll ask one more time. Do you really want this?
when the glory of God and the fire of God fell upon Mount Carmel. It consumed the flesh of the sacrifice. Tonight, that fire falls in this house. And the remainder of your flesh will be consumed by the presence of God. Fire come. I call it down now. Consume the flesh of the sacrifice. Lord, we present our members as living sacrifices. Purify us tonight, Father. Purify us tonight, Father. Consume the flesh. Remove the lust of the flesh. Remove the lust of the eyes. Remove the pride of life. Purify your vessels, Father. That they may walk in this. And I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I have come to visit my people in this hour. And I start this night. Because I'm going to take you deeper than you've ever gone before. Have I not said in my word that I would do a quick work at the end of the age? And so tonight I begin by moving beyond all you could ask or think. All that you've hoped or dreamed for. I move beyond that now. And I make a way for you to come into the secret place. A place of union and intimacy you have never known. For the hour has now come. For this latter house to shine forth with my glory. And I have chosen to begin in you. This is a blessing. But it is a very sober thing. From this night forward. My spirit will convict you quickly. There are things that you can no longer do. There are things that are not expedient anymore for you to engage. And my spirit will work in you to warn you not to enter into those things anymore. For I am bringing forth a pure and holy work tonight. So hear the voice of my spirit. Hear my heart's cry. I have longed for this day. My prophets have longed to look towards this day. And now the great cloud of witnesses is watching what I'm releasing. Because it is the movement of my spirit. That has been brooding over the whole of the earth. And over my inheritance. And now is quickening that which I have established. And now it shall spring forth quickly. Now it shall spring forth quickly. This is the hour of my visitation. So rejoice. Rejoice! 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 Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus!